All right, we are going to do part C now with a little less help because all you have to do is read the directions and follow them. One thing a lot of students make a mistake for here is that they forget to set the sun's mass to medium. So make sure sun's mass, you have to set it to medium for activity C. That is a big change there. Then, sorry, I closed it all down by accident. What tips can I give you for part C? Well, here's what I can help you with. Read the directions. The third law, Kepler's law, talks about the period versus the orbital radius. So what do you think? Prediction. This is just your own thoughts. Now we're going to measure. So you have to follow the directions and look at the period of the planet. So you want to push play and pause it. Boom! Right when it gets back. And the number of years that go by, it tells you right here. All right. There's a better way to do it than estimating. You can actually go over and click table here. And if you have record data, it'll tell you the mass of the sun, mass of the planet. It'll tell you the orbital radius right here and the amount of days it took and years it took to complete one orbit. That is the period. All right. So in these directions, when it tells you to click on table, record data, that's where table is. It's right over here. And then something that's cool is that, you know, if you make, it wants you to make uh, larger and larger orbits, right? It wants you to fill this table in by making larger and larger orbits. An easy way to do that is to increase the velocity. And when you push play, you don't have to wait every time until it gets all the way done to pause it. You can just hit record data and it'll give you your data right there. A little bit longer data, see the data is changing. Now, if you get to a point where you hit data and it says NA, that means that you made the orbit so big that the planet actually is just going to be lost to space. It's not going to orbit the sun anymore. So if you do that, reset it and fix it so that it orbits. You cannot use the NA as the data. All right. Now, for this part down here, notice that there are two blank columns. You're going to do those later on in the gizmo. For this part, this part is a little bit difficult, but read the directions and try it. Ask me for help in person. I can help you. You're trying to get a straight line. So essentially, when you see the graph here, you may have to zoom out. You can see that this doesn't really make a perfect straight line. So you have to manipulate these things to try to find a way that makes it the most straight line between the dots as possible. See, this is kind of straight here, but then it kind of bends over. So keep messing with this until you get a nice straight line. All right, sometimes you might have to zoom out or zoom in to do that. For this part, just call me over when you have it done. I'll check off here. You don't actually have to take a picture since we're not doing it digitally. And now the last part here, it says label the third column A cubed. That's the third column here. Label it A cubed. Label the second column T squared. T squared. So you have your values here from completing this part of the lab. What you're going to do is, in this column, a cubed column, you're just going to take the number you have in this column and cube it and put it here. Now for the t squared column, you're just going to take the number from here, squared, put it here, and repeat, and repeat, and repeat. This should show you relationship. It should be able to show you how the Kepler found the relationship between the period of the planet and the orbital radius. Essentially, what you find out is, if you know the orbital radius, you can calculate the period. Or if you know the period, if you're watching a planet in the sky and you see it go one complete orbit, if you measure that time, if you know the period, then you can calculate how far away it is from us or the sun. And now this part here is just to do that for planets that we know the distance for. How long would their year be? If you have any questions, just ask me. And do not forget, number seven here, it tells you to calculate on the previous page, on the table on the previous page. Do not overlook that. Read the directions. Ask me for help.